Hello, relatives. Welcome to this week's Schlagbite, November 26, 2012, entitled Depression Breakthrough. The theory about what causes depression is that it's a disease caused by a dysfunction in the brain's neurotransmitters. And antidepressant drugs restore that dysregulated chemistry and gets the system back into balance. However, in one out of three depressed patients, those medications don't work. And uh, other drugs are added, anti-seizure medications, atypical antipsychotic agents, and they work by an entirely different mechanism. And now there's been a new treatment announced in the journal Science called the biggest breakthrough in depression research in half a century. Scientists prescribed ketamine for chronically depressed patients. Ketamine is a pre-anesthetic that has hallucinogenic qualities. Among club glowers, it's called Special K. And it's been a favorite uh, for people looking for dreamlike eyes. So it's not clear how the ketamine works either, but it's also different from existing formulations. Researchers think that it regenerates synapses, those are the connections between brain cells that uh, have become damaged by stress and uh, chronic despair. Synthetic mind-altering chemicals like ketamine and LSD or ecstasy, MDMA, in addition to all kinds of natural, organic, psychoactive substances that are found in cacti and vines and weeds and mushrooms and flowers and animal skins, have been used since earliest times to uh, treat a variety of mental problems, recently to treat addictions and post-traumatic stress disorders, and they've been used by a host of visionary seekers. I once used it for a patient who was dying from metastatic disease and had severe end-of-life anxiety issues, and uh, for whom it provided enormous relief. You can read about it on my site in an article called Seeing in the Dying Light. Recently, the New York Times Magazine section featured an article in which uh, psilocybin, the psychoactive agent in mushrooms, magic mushrooms, was given to 12 seriously depressed cancer patients, and every one of them reported significant relief of symptoms. The truth is the brain is hardwired for mystical experience. We are biologically programmed to have visionary experiences. Hallucinogenic drugs activate that portion of the brain that fuzzes the boundaries between the real world and the imaginary one. And it serves an important function. And healers have always known that. You can get into that altered state by chanting, by drumming, dancing, rituals, ceremonies. All of them are ways to open channels into that part of the brain that allows us to see the world from an entirely different perspective. But here's my concern. My concern is that Big Pharma is surely going to want to pursue this route, and it's going to market this drug as the next panacea for whatever ails you. Don't get sucked into another pill solution that promises to take away the lampshades of fear, doubt, sadness, and anxiety. There are many, many more organic ways that can lift your spirit. Seek them out. Have a great post-Thanksgiving time as we prepare for this season of renewal and rebirth. Touch somebody in a good way. Remember, we are all connected. I say this for all my relations. Mitakuyasi. Have a great week.